Welcome everyone to the Planning Committee for Boys Town Council. It's Thursday the 3rd of June. Thank you everybody for taking the time and attending this evening. Um, okay, I'll take the, uh, we go on and start the agenda as read. And I'll just ensure that all of you can have got a mobile phone if you can make sure it's on silent or switched off, please. So shall we put the button around as well? Yeah. Um, um, I'm going to be from and the and the so anybody else from the committee that may not have given a full review, you might yeah. accept that they may not have got the agenda. Absolutely, well, we wouldn't have got the agenda. Thank you for that. Okay, we have no part two of the agenda. So, are there any, any members present who have um, an interest in any of the items? Councillor Taylor. Thank you. I have an interest in uh, 10 long maps. Okay. We have to take part in the debate. Okay. Thank you for that. So that's uh, not nine, is it? 10 for long maps. That's fine. Thank you for that. Um, I don't believe there's any dispensations. So I'll move on to the minutes of the last one on the 13th of May 2021. Have you had a chance to have a look at the, the minutes? Are you happy for me to sign them as a record of the last meeting? Other than changing of time for the I think that's going to be something you see occasionally because it's been removed for so long. No, I just want to be recorded. But everyone, if you'd like, is always happy with that. So, yeah. Now we wrote it before we got to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Thank you. We've already, I think, received the, the correspondence from you. Thank you very much. Are there any kind of questions on any of that, or are you all happy with the, the correspondence that's gone out? Yeah, thank you. We obviously have no members of the public with us tonight, so we will move straight on to the new application. Um, yes, I do have a comment on the correspondence. Oh, okay. uh, may yes, please do. Um, so, uh, I can't actually get on the screen at the moment, but from what I recall, all of the uh, applications that were approved were also uh, ones that we had recommended. Yes, thank um, you. And there was one which was refused, which um, uh, well, we, we didn't think there was enough detail on the moment. That's right. The, uh, the officer has found the detail that they which we wanted it, and of course refused it. Yeah. So it's nice to know we're in line, is what you're saying. Yeah, it's also the secret of the Generally speaking, yes, we've got three Okay. Well, moving on, the first item tonight, 16 Park Road. I believe that one has been withdrawn. So we will move straight on to the next item, which is 10 of the Longlands. Um, and this is the retention of a rear balcony and side deck area. Um, and I know if we'd like to, if you've got the, um, if you're able to scroll through the actual um, items in front of you, I think that's uh, that's the best way forward, is it? Where I'm just trying to get around. Yes, that's right. Now having a look at this, there were um it is quite a it's obviously it's been up along the there is it, there is quite a difference in height. Um and you'll notice that the actual application says it's retention of the rear balcony. This is following the enforcement case. Um so the application's been received. Um we've got comments in support. Um, one's from Six Lower Meadow Rise supporting the actual householders put a comment explaining the situation um, and a, a misunderstanding about putting in the planning application, but obviously supporting his own application. And also from someone who lives at Paddock, which I don't think overlooks, but it must just be someone who is known to them and wants to support the application from that point of view. Mm. I was heartened to see that someone at Lower Meadow Rise supporting because that would be someone who is above the mm -hmm. property mm -hmm. from that point of view and that, that seems um that was good to, to read that. If you try to have a look at these today I guess you might have the, the, the website down mm -hmm. so um, that's why I'm 
sharing your ideas with them, so I'm not trying to lecture. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No comment from the next one over. It does seem to almost jump out. It, it, no, in no. front of that one. The properties that do seem to have quite a bit of space between them, but you're right, there is a, they all kind of share that same upside down mm -hmm. split level situation. So um, they don't, there doesn't seem to be negative or positive for that. So it might be the neighbor hasn't seen them or is not prepared to comment. I'm not sure. Not going to be. Do, do we know why there's been a port of control around them? Have we got any information on that? It would be that someone has reported building work commenced. Well, no, and they've been investigating that and then and they they then ask them to see the plan. Yeah. Yeah. It isn't complete, it has been started, and I think it's at that point that someone's obviously spotted that. So mm -hmm. and uh, I, I see that part of the screen around well most of the screen around the balcony is clear. So I just wonder whether somebody wasn't happy about that. There's no comments about that council. It doesn't seem to be right. Any, any other members have any, any comments on this one at all? Any thoughts? Chair, uh, the, yeah. the, uh, the uh, letters of support, which every one of them went from, and I seem to recall reading this one uh, last week, and I haven't actually got it down, I haven't read it last week. Yeah, I'm trying to do the same. It was from uh, lower, lower there, right? That's right. So it's the one, the next one down. That's right. So that's not down here. Since the neighbors don't need to be concerned about 
I do notice as well, I've managed to get into my system account more as well, and it does say to your glass a privacy screen. Yeah. And on the on that particular yeah. one. We've got privacy glass, but that is really much of a problem. Yeah. Well, we had a proposal, um, no objection to that. Or I second it. Thank you, Cassidy. Okay. Any other comments? Or we'll, we'll go to the vote if that's okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, to voting to support with no objection. Okay. With one abstention. With one abstention. Okay. Right, let's move on to the next item. And we've got four Barton Terrace. Um, this is at the, um, what I call the kind of quality closer end of Barton Terrace. Um, and it is, I believe, um, minor chimney repair to decorate in externally a new raising of the grooves. And the applicant has mentioned the fact that they there's quite a few different paints being used to um, cosmetically enhance the outside of the property, and they're going to unify it and get it all right to the same exact specification and colour as well. I noticed that, so I was quite pleased to, to hear that. It is a listed building consent, um, and there's quite a few detailed reports with it. Those seem to be more different that point of view. Um, yeah, it's removing a white PVC up and down pipe, which is why um, the new range of goods are a bit more in keeping with the, with the property in the ancient property. That's a similar problem we had on in the years ago, so people put in large capacity. Mm -hmm. Question do, do they say, and it's not on here, um, do they say what size the running is? Or they find that? It doesn't say the materials, but it says it's in keeping with the design of the property. So I'm, I'm taking it being appropriate materials, but it's, it's certainly an improvement on what you can see. You can see. It would probably be more of an OG design for that period, perhaps. Um, yeah. Up to date, it would more, most likely be fabric coated uh, aluminium algal and cast iron, which is yeah. very difficult to get. Very expensive. The comment says no comment from the conservation officer. Councillor Taylor, thank you for putting your hand up. I put a new four and a half inch OG on my mm. uh, So it, it, is, it is available, but um, mm. it's not the cheapest craft room, but I hope I hope there are none of the previous craft room that these are uh, this um, line <coughs> is, um, is, is is Georgia or early Victoria? No, 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 it would be. Right there, I thought it was, it would be John Nash design after Luston Castle was built. Um, quite a few people along there bought plans of the um, what you used to call it when they sort of had a catalogue of plans you could buy. Unfortunately, I did make a note of the date, but it did have a comment. The 18, uh, early 1800s. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Chair. Um, so this is a listed building, is it correct? That's right, we were looking at an application yeah. for listing building. Uh, I am proposed to subject to the um, conservation officer's approval, but we have no objection. I have second that. Thank you. Um, any other comments before we go to the vote? I think it, it seems we're all kind of singing from the same kind of page on this one. So we'll go to the vote, but we um, say no objection to this. Um, I think with the proviso that the conservation officer is satisfied. Okay, moving on, we're now going to Holcomb. And this is Lobster Cottage, a lot of four lane. And this is, as you mentioned, we were talking about these windows before, as more than the replacement of existing metal. Crucial windows to rear of timber casing with a replacement timber casing. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's a very uh, pretty cottage. Uh, it's got a mixture of windows. I think uh, not sure it's got UPVC, but it seems to have uh, uh, certain crystals and yeah. other, other, other shapes and sizes. And uh, the uh, applicant is um, trying to. We saw the original character as far as I can see. Yeah, that's just my objection. Yeah, thank you for that. So I know this cottage actually, I just know someone who was to rent it, so he 
few years ago. And I noticed that they have had to put quite a bit of detail in about the shared access because there's access for that little row of three cottages there. So they're going to be, they're going to have to make those management plans to make sure they don't cause any disruption. But, uh, you know, just going to be for the 15 the windows. But that's fine. Am I right in thinking that this this area of Bolton has on the map is a, a conservation area as well? It is. It is within the conservation so area. So obviously they are. I'm going to be conscious of that. Yeah. There are details on the um, on the website of the particular type of placement windows, and they are the timber equivalent, and they're really quite nice looking windows as well. And it already has some existing timber casements <coughs> on the front. Yeah. So they're basically bringing it all into the line. Absolutely. Yeah. That's where I thought it was. Is that where I Right at the bottom of the steep hill of Falcon. So it's on the main road and going down and turn off. Yeah. Yeah, you're it's you just turn that turn before you're heading towards um, the main road, the main road. Right. Uh -huh. So it's at the bottom of that, the bottom of the hill with the church on in Holton. Which is which I think called Holton Village, isn't it? Yeah. The name of the road. Yes, oh, it's yeah. yeah. <laughs> um oh right, so it's in that little tight corner. That's right. That's right. Oh, okay. And you can you can tell it's a lobster cottage because it's a bright red painted lobster yeah, cottage. Yeah, I'll stick it somewhere else. Because there's a couple of lobster cottages. You've got an option of a Well, we do. Yeah. We are by the seaside council. Council Taylor. Is there a lobster cottage? I thought it was shrimp. Oh, it could be. Let's take you back to the lobster. Yeah, the crabby is. There are lots of lobster crab and shrimp pot to bring those things in there. Thank you, Councillor Taylor. Yes, that's nice. So we have a proposal of no objection. Anyone I think that the subject to the um, conservation area. Okay. I can see they're going to lose more light if they have that wooden case drop in, but it isn't going to be a thicker train at the moment. They are, they are. But I believe that the, the comments by the applicants are that uh, these metal windows uh, need an awful lot of air and cold and heat, mm -hmm. etc. And the, the metal itself will transmit cold in that. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, so I think they might be losing a bit of light, but I think they'll be changing the whole thing. I doubt they'd be able to get the same. Well, they can, but they're not designed. It says single clear six mil cut and glass. That's a shame. I'd like to see them very much. I think they are cold. I think it is cold coffee, I'm not sure it would be um possible to make a sorry. I did, yeah. No, is it this a listed building? No, it's it is actually it is, sorry, it's a building consent, it is within the conservation area. So they may have wanted to have that upgrade, but they may not have been allowed by the building. Yeah, that's correct. But actually, Gary, I don't think so because you can make the wood windows now look exactly the same, purely and simply because it's gone. And so I'm just thinking if the actual glazing, which isn't clear from the picture, if it's going to be those little squares, leaded squares that are in the, the existing yeah. window, yeah. they couldn't put that in to double face. Correct. Um, um, you can actually. They don't. They don't. <laughs> you, you, you can have uh, metal light in, within double plates. You can see so it can be in, 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 inside of the inner skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's they are asking for a Georgian type design, right? So it's not metal light. So it looks like a wooden mullions and transoms as opposed to obviously the old school with the legs. Yeah. So that uh, is a little bit more awkward doing that double facing because they have to do um, main windows of six panels per window. So it is quite expensive to do that double facing, and they've got to do individual panes. Nevertheless, I think if if we could, if I could propose it, and you say no, then I'm sorry to carry it. We already have a proposal. Yeah, I've got them to it. That um, we would prefer to see double glazing. However, we really need to. Conservation officer. I think from the point of view, I think that's more like a, a comment and a preference rather than a moment. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because I, I, I would think it's about getting, you know, this is this, this is the building and the um, conservation area. It is about preserving as much as possible the, uh, 
you know, could have been something I was, but I'll take your point, Captain. It's going to look exactly on the blue view, it will look exactly the same as the double days. So just use a wider replay and look at the blue view on the inside. You need no issue to play that. Well, I'm happy to have that as a as a comment, but I think the last day went to the conservation office. Yeah. So um we've had a a um proposal. Proposal, we've had a comment, um added to we haven't had a second to that. We've had a second to that. Sorry, Pat. I don't think we can actually ask for no, it. I think we can make a comment. I think we can make a comment. That's all that, that, that's that, that we, it, it's a it's conservation. I think we would, Joe, I'd be happy to, to, to uh, amend the proposal to give, give or to, or to uh, put a further note in saying that there would be no objection if the units would be double, if there would be double glazed units with the, with the, um, with the acceptance of the conservation yeah. officer. Yeah, that's, that's a good compromise. You're happy yeah. with that, Kathy? You'd be happy with that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's only the four of us here, so we'll vote on that. <laughs> we'll have a bit of a say in it. So thank you. Right, and believe it or not, we're on the last one. No, this, is, this is very much a, a lot. I don't want to tempt fate for the next meeting, but we normally have a lot more than this, don't we? Okay. So this is um, 21 double, oh, double 139, full planning permission for three Devondale and its bungalows. It's um, the erection of Units. Two holiday units, yes. The address is three then no, that's what it's going on. And there are apartments plus parking and soft landscaping. I notice while the owners have also got uh, owned other parking spaces that are associated, there are quite a few parking spaces that are going on this. And it's, um, this is a change because this has been before us um, yeah. as a block of four apartments. So like they were that kind of staggered modern style, weren't they? With uh, um, to, to really maximise the space, I suppose, from that point of view. But I think this is more in keeping with the they they made them them considerably bigger. So yes, I think we, we have we have seen this before. Uh, I think before I, I'm not sure that this was before when Peter was in the world. But it was over the development of uh, the mm -hmm. scientific children and scientific results. Yeah. Um, it, there's still a lot of um, house mm -hmm. on these. Blocks on, mm -hmm. on these two blocks, which is both, both houses are quite large. Uh, there, does, there does seem to be a uh, small amount of amenity space. So I'm guessing that in modern terms, it's just that the amenity space is adequate. Yeah. Um, but you know, there's, there's an enormous amount of other amenity space in the immediate vicinity. Absolutely. And so, I, these, they are holiday nets, they're just specific to that. Yes. So, that's a holiday net. Perhaps some more. Yes, I, I would just like to comment that before the, the first application we saw, or I recall, they were they wanted to put four bungalows in there. That's right. And quite a lot more as well. Yes. And also we were referring to the fact that there are single story buildings adjacent. That's right. So it looks as if they have tried to maximize the space, i.e., the letting potential. They're basically using almost the same floor space it would have been with those four bungalows. Mm -hmm. However, they have kept them to single story, which I think is a lot more in keeping with the adjoining property. Yeah, they've taken pre planning advice as well. And I think they must, after the, what was refused in the previous application that came in, um, they are have mentioned that they are now looking at reducing the impact on the neighbors, hence the single story property. So, um, and there are two parking spaces um, behind these. They're adjacent, they're straight onto the, the road, and there's another, I think, another four parking spaces nearby for them as well. So they've practically thought of everything, actually. Um, I, I don't submit, I don't have too much problem with this now. It's a refreshing change mm -hmm. to have. Um, it, they still look modern, but they look in keeping with bungalows nearby, and I like the use of materials. They are holiday lets, so that the smaller gardens, but they have got a terrace for people or families to um, 
just have a bit of outside space at home as well. So I think it's quite pleasant. Well, they're right next door to the Warren and so forth, so they're going to be out as much as they want. So, yeah, absolutely. I think it's a good compromise. Yeah. Um, well, well, really, yeah. On the screen that you've got at the end, like you've got your first page, where it is, and then the second page is not the same as the first page. Yeah. And then we've got the, the, the red bits where they are. Yeah. Uh, four and three units. Okay. Yeah, those within okay. previous bungalows that there are. Okay. Were they already built or they not been down? Yes. yes. Oh. Yeah. oh, okay. Because I was thinking, why have they got two different ones? That's the original one. Yeah. So they've gone, and when we go down, we've got, as um, Paul pointed out, they do take up almost half the actual area. So it is quite big. Yeah. It would have been a bit better than a smaller. Um, but they've got the parking. Um, I think they're nice family spaces, aren't they? There's a, a double bedroom. And one's got two double bedrooms and one's got double bedroom and single bedroom. So I think it's very much family based. Are there any objections in from the family and property owners? No, no, they're not. Yes, there was. There was, there was. And there's also um, sill required on these as well, where they are. And I know they also are including bike stores as well as part of the. The yeah. 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 Thank you, Councillor Taylor. Thank you, Councillor Taylor. I have no more comments. Any other comments on this one this evening? Yeah. We'll go to the vote then. To accept as is, no objections. Thank you. We'll get your booking form, Councillor. It's good to know that our concerns we're taking into it in consideration. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So I think that's a that's a good win from that. Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that's I'm very surprised to tell you that that's the last item this evening for us to discuss. So so thank you very much for your time. It's not normally this short and sweet. Can I just say, just before we close, this is Yolanda's last meeting with us tonight. So I'd just like to really thank her for all her time with us. If I'd have known there would have been flowers and marching band, but we will say goodbye um, before you go anyway. You've been a real privilege to have had you were clerking and the efficiency that you and, and care that you've shown with us. So thank you very much. Thank you. I would not to sing, but I'm not sure we can do it. No, I'm afraid we can do it. Gosh, that wasn't easy. Well, did you mention about this um, uh, 